Good day YouTubers. Today I am just going to teach you how to use the SQL uh, data reader. Um, there are many different uses for it and uh, sometimes there's situations where you need to use the SQL data adapter instead of the reader but for this example I'm just going to be focusing on the reader and and my example isn't necessarily the best way to use the reader you could use an adapter and a data set and bind the list box to the data set but in our case we're just going to use the data reader and add each red line red item and add it to our list box now I've created in um, in Microsoft SQL Express uh, a little database example and uh, it's a DVD collection table with just a few DVDs listed in it. Uh, we're going to list these DVDs on our form in this uh, list box. So for starters, and we're going to do this through clicking this button. So for starters, the very first thing we have to do is add the the SQL data reference, and it is uh, using system dot data dot SQL client and uh, that's all we need for this example the very first step in connecting to a database now I wanna say that uh, everything that I'm doing in this example I'm doing programmatically I'm not creating data sets or data adapters by, from pulling it from our toolbox uh, we're going to be coding everything on the programmatic level so the very first thing is to create an SQL connection object. This is to connect to our data source. <coughs> equals new and I am going to click on the database and you can see it has the connection string so I'm just going to copy this put this in here now, as you can see we have our connection string and I've added the connection string to it. Okay, the next thing is we need a command. And the command needs some SQL cope uh, and, uh, and a connection object. And we have created that already, so we're just going to add it to it. Now I'm going to create the SQL query, the select query on the this so we can go new query and, and this is our database. All we want is the titles and uh, let's uh, make it sort in ascending order. So now we have our SQL code. So. I'm going to paste the SQL code where it requires the text. I just need enough for this form. Okay, so just to recap, we have our connection object with the connection string to the database, which is provided by the database itself by clicking on that database that we're using, and you can get the connection string. The next step is to create an SQL command object which we named command and then we have added the SQL code and the connection object because the SQL command will require those for what we need to do with it. Now we have our command set up. The first thing um, now, normally when you're running a query against a database, you want a, a try-catch statement, and uh, we will add it. Um, I won't go into too much detail about this. Uh, okay, so how this works is the... the um, the try is ran first. If for some reason that code fails, it goes to the catch. And I've provided the catch with a SQL exception, exception, uh, and uh, we can put that 
exception into a message box so that the user knows what the error was that occurred and this is one way of handling it and then uh, and then after whether the code was successful or whether it failed the finally block is always run regardless of whether the code is successful or it fails and and uh, moves to the catch the final is always ran so the very first thing you want to do is open the connection to the database so it's going to be con dot open and then uh, what you want to do in the finally is close that connection so that if the code fails that the connection will always be closed to the database now in order to use the command against the database we have to use the SQL data reader and uh, this reads each uh, line from the table one at a time it only gets each result one at a time and you have to keep reading until the very until the end of the table if the, or and uh, so this can be done data reader reader and we you set this equal to your command and dot execute and we use the execute reader because we're trying to read if this was just an insert statement then uh, when using the command you don't even, you don't need the reader and you can do dot execute execute non query which means that uh, you're not reading anything uh, anyway so we have our reader object which is set to the command dot execute query your reader now when you use the reader it will only return one line at a time like I was saying earlier so I'm going to use the while reader dot and then read method so every time there is another result every time it reads and there is a result it will return true while while you're reading so so this will run and uh, I will just show you the example before I get too far ahead um, using a, a, a message box before I actually load it into the into the list box so it is reader and you can do one of uh, this is the way I prefer doing it because when I look at the reader then I know it can either return the index the column index of the row or you can actually provide the column name and in this case I'm going to provide the column name which is DVD title it help when you have 50 columns that you're reading it helps you as the programmer to know which column is going where instead of looking at a bunch of integers 3 7 47 which will mean nothing to you unless you have good um, comments while you're writing this anyway so there's the reader and after the while loop you always have to close the reader after you're done reading you always close the reader else the reader will stay open um, so let me run this see what happens Ah, escape sequence. Okay, so we hit the button. You can see there's the first movie, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, so, and it's just iterating through each one. So now, I just used the message box as an example, but it's actually the list box one that we want to add these items to so list box has its list of items dot add and now we want to use this reader there we go and now let's run this and pull this in here so you can see it and I'm gonna hit the button and boom you'll notice if you use the reader and loaded a lot of things. Anyway, um, I hope this has been helpful.
when using the data reader and uh, please subscribe and uh, I look forward to posting future videos to uh, share my knowledge. Have a good day.